this is a filter. This is not my natural me, I'll show you. This is what I look like. Not unhappy, but I would love to learn how to do my makeup like that. Is there anyone on this app who can teach someone over 50 how to kind of do makeup like that? The amount of times I was tagged in this video, so first of all, thank you, I'm honored that all of you recommended me, and that's what I do. I teach mature makeup, mature skincare. The filter adds a lot of bronze. That bronze is emphasizing the cheekbones, which gives a lift, the tip of the nose, which brings the attention to the center of the face, which on a mature skin takes away the eye from places that are aging the most, like the jowls, and then of course, this sort of elongated eye. First step to creating a really flawless look like this is to do a nice base on your skin. I'm using the Chanel Le Beige. It's the water beads. It's super, super easy to use, really forgiving, not thick, doesn't emphasize fine lines, and you can see it just smooths everything out. This look was a heavy bronzed look, and they almost used the bronzer in place of blush. We're gonna use the House Lab Sculpting Bronzer, and I'm going to really emphasize right up on those cheekbones to create that lift. So we're sort of using it the way we did blush back in the 80s. And then I bring it down onto the jaw. So I'm doing jaw, cheekbone, forehead to create that sort of look. I often refer to this as the number three placement. So you're basically drawing the number three. You start at the top along the forehead, bring it to the temple, across the cheekbone, and down under the jaw. I tend to do little circular buffing motions to really get that worked into the skin. The next part of this look was bronzer across the nose. So we're gently just sort of going across the bridge of the nose, not the tip, before the tip, and sort of blending that into the cheeks. So you create that really youthful, like, boom, I just came in from the sun. Absolute best friend for mature eyes are shadow sticks versus powders. We're gonna use Bobbi Brown, the color taupe. If you can't find taupe, nude beach is almost identical. What you're gonna do is take that shadow stick and almost mimic the shape of your brow. So your brow, we're just kind of going the same shape underneath like that and drop it in like that. Same thing on this side. We're creating a little bit like that and like that. And then take a brush and just gently buff that in following the exact same shape you drew. It's gonna look like that. Brown eyeliner, best friend. One little line, just like that. One little flick. That's it. Last thing we need to do is mascara. So you're gonna do one coat just like you normally would across your eyes, but then you're gonna do two or three more coats only on the outer edge, pulling it outwards towards your hairline so that you're creating that sort of elongated swoop. I like this look best with a nude lipstick. This is Lisa Eldridge lip gloss in Songbird to finish the look. And that's it. Give it a try.